Long story short is I didn't plan on this. Like I just tried to get a trick and then another trick happened and a line happened and then another line happened and another trick happened and all of a sudden I'm like, whoa, I think I'm like starting the beginnings of actually a proper edit. And I just told myself, you know what, Paul, just go out and skate and get what you get and just have a little discipline and don't immediately just throw it up on Instagram. Because my mentality before was like, unless it's the hardest thing I've ever done and I have to go back a million times for it and try for hours and drive myself crazy, it's not worth saving. I just, I put such a high, I just put a lot of pressure on myself to like, I want to be really good. And I want the footage I put out to be really good. Feels good, especially a rail trick. That's rare for me. So a rail trick, I'm right. So last week I came and tried this and I just would grind down to the bottom and jump off for no reason, because rails made me really nervous, but like all these, Carlos, Miles, everybody's skating the rail, and those dudes are like rail skaters, so it had me like, all right, dude, I can't look soft in front of my crew, you know? This shoe encapsulates my career. It's literally in one shoe, my entire skateboarding career. You know what I mean? In one project. Every high point, every low point, every point in between is all encapsulated in this shoe. It's not just like, oh yeah, let's just slap a bunch of random things. It's like every piece on that shoe means something to me. Every piece of that shoe was a point of my life. I was at a certain space in my life, certain mental space. I remember what age I was, what I was into, what, you know, how I was feeling at that point in life all the way till now. Yeah, the first trick I got was the nollie front nose, nollie back heel on the on the Malibu ledge. But I did that before, like maybe beginning of March. And then I started talking to, you know, Scuba and Bobby at Nike about like plans for the launch of the shoe and had the samples. So it started off, okay, let me go back for that nollie front nose, nollie back heel. I was like, oh, I like that trick. Like it's not like the craziest thing I ever did, but like, you know, it's cool. And then went back, I got the line with the nollie cab and the big flip down the stairs. And like, to me, normally I would be like, ah, I'll just put that on Instagram. But I was like, all right, we'll keep that. That goes with the nollie front nose. Cool, so I got a couple cool little tricks, you know. And then what did I get after that? Was that the, I think I got the line in the park in West Hollywood, the half cup heel nose side line. Okay, I got three lines, I got two lines and a single. Oh, cool, this is cool. And now I'm like, Oh, now I'm like spark. Now I'm thinking like, ooh, what else could I do? March 20th, on our way to Silmar High School, looking to do the switch backside big spin today, down the 11, feeling good about it. Last trick that I filmed down those stairs, man, I couldn't tell you. The forecast came out in 2005 and it's 2021, so that's 16 years. Damn. And I had already been trying the switch backside big spin at Silmar. But now that I had the shoes, I was like, oh no, good, good, good. I want to go back and get it in the shoes. So I went back and I got that. And I was like, oh, okay, that's like a trick I really am happy about. Like, I want. Here we are. Thank you, Mikey. Yep. Feels good to jump, dude. Down my old, my old friends here. 
See, the other way when I was filming for Never and I had these tricks in my mind that I knew were gonna be like, the hard, just so hard for me to do and I had to prepare myself for the battle. I would go try that trick, go back, and I wouldn't try anything else until I got that trick. I would think of another trick and try that until I got it. And I would never allow myself to get momentum. But now I was like, okay, start off with the nollie front nose, nollie back here. Cool. Okay, got the little line, nollie cab, big flip. Okay, nice. Oh, got the switch big. Wow, now I got like, okay, it's like not just okay tricks. Now I got one that I feel really good about. And for some reason, allowing myself to gain a little momentum has been helping this process. And so I'm just trying to ride the momentum for however long. Um, God allows me to have it because I definitely have not been in this kind of flow for a long, long time. Wow! God damn it! I ain't even finished rolling the joint! Damn, big dog. I'm lucky I come to see some amazing shit go down. Uh, Fucking right, Master. Whoa! Damn. What do you think, Dubs? I mean, that's just shit. a valley legend. What do you, I could not expect anything less, straight up. When things flow natural, that's when I feel like I work the best. And Mike, he's just a goofy dude, man. He's a character. I like, I like characters, man. Like, I like somebody who's gonna, you know, the mood's never gonna be too serious, too, uh, you know, I, I like to laugh and joke and bullshit with my friends, especially when I'm out skating. I like just, feeling carefree and youthful you know i don't i don't necessarily i've never been the guy who's like i'm on a mission we're here for a job let's get focused and boom 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 and some people like to work that way and that's great but to me you have to put yourself in a setting that you get the best out of yourself right like you can't i can't imagine an artist musical artist goes into the studio and just says all right cut the bullshit just play beats and we, we're here to make the greatest song in the world. You know what I mean? You need a vibe, man. You, you can't force something like that. You can't force a creative thing. Right now we are in Pasadena and we're at a spot that Paul's been practicing all week to try this line for this What the P-Rod video that he's working on right now. He's Five for five, this would be six for six if he gets it. Five for five means five tricks. Five out of the five tricks that he's want, he's got. So we're on a good roll. A lot of good momentum go, going on right now. So it's good to be back in the game. Getting clips that I'm proud of. Uh, not feeling like a old washed up. I haven't, I haven't gotten this much footage in this amount of time in years, man. Years. You know, I'm just thankful, man. It feels like a weird, like long road, even though it's been a while since the injury. But it feels like finally, like here again.